Good day everyone, welcome to how to video. My name is Tommy from Hackvision Australia. In this video, we're going to introduce how to recognize vehicle number plate to open the door automatically. So first part is about why we need this function. So today we have lots of applications in smart home solution. For example, we can open a door, a garage door via mobile app. It is very smart, but someone may have concerns about cybersecurity. So do we have a solution which can do similar thing in a more secure way? It is, uh, we can use Hypergen AMPI camera to recognize number plate and the trigger memo to open the door automatically. It is an automatic way and uh, the system is not connected to internet. Of course, this application can be used in other scenarios such as warehouse, industrial park. So let's look at what product can support this function. So here's the models we have. The first one is AMPR, AMPR camera. It is for Mac camera. And the second one is the Mimo. So to build up the hardware, it is not complicated. So we have, it takes three steps. The first step is very important here. So let's look at the, the photo here. So in the first step, we find the label. We need to find the label named the Wigan in AMPR camera. So in the label, we have W0, W1, Ground. and in main mode we find a connection named the WG which is which refers to Regan so we connect W0 to D, D0 and the W1 here to D1 and the ground to ground so that's step one which is very important and in step two uh, just power up the uh, mode and with 12 DC and connect to switch and in step three we just connect an AMPR camera to power up POE, a uh, power up the camera and connect to the switch. The next part, the third part is about step by step configuration. So, again, we can do config two, two devices. The first one is the AMPR. So, here for AMPR, step one is we try to activate the devices, add the devices in 4200 client, which is very easy. Just follow the numbers to click, click, click. So, in here, when we add it in, we need to tick on synchronize time in number five. So in step two, we just config Wigan protocol as hike 34 bit. So again, follow numbers, click, click, click. In number five, we have three options, but we need to choose hike 34 bit. And in step three, we're going to configure number plate recognition area and the test the camera to recognize number plate correctly. So in this step, it may take it may take uh, several minutes or 10 or 20 minutes because you need to zoom in, zoom out the camera, adjust the camera installation and adjust the border line here in number seven to get a high recognition accuracy. And then step four, we're going to configure number plate and car number. So again, for all numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And in number six, we try to export the block list, the allow list, and it will pop out to ask you to save it. And you can save this Excel file. After that, just open the Excel file and uh, try to edit it. So in the is Excel file, I give an example. And card number here is very important uh, because here we need to make sure the card number is 10 digits. You can just uh, follow the number uh, no, uh, number plate one two three four five six seven one 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 because actually it's a virtual card. Uh, the last three digit of this card number, see here in this number is 111. You can't change it to 999 because the last three digit has to be between 100 to 2555. So here 111 is between this uh, range. So we recommend to use this card number actually. And in number five, we need to import the list in MPR camera and reboot the MPR camera. So just follow numbers and uh, the second one we're going to uh, configure the main mode. So again, it is very easy. I think we configured several times in previous video. So add a person first. So add a virtual card number. So the virtual card number here is the same as the number card number we set up in the AMPR camera whitelist. And next step, we're going to configure SS group and apply to main mode. So again, follow numbers, which is very direct easy to uh, operate 
And uh, step step eight, we're going to configure weaker input to allow the wing mode to receive a card number from the camera, actually. So follow numbers here. And uh, we're going to configure the weaken settings. Make sure we tick on this option and click save. So next part, we're going to demonstrate actually this function is working. So, so there's no video in this, there's no demonstration video in this, uh, in this uh, how to video. Um, but we'll just show you the result. So here you can see the camera in the, in the 4200 event center. You can, when this function is fully working, you can see the vehicle detection event. And uh, see here, the number plate is recognized. And immediately, the link mode will open the door. And after five seconds later, the door is locked. So by default, it's five seconds. If you want to change it to other settings, you can jump jump to this photo and go to follow the numbers here to configure it. So in number four, you can configure the open duration as 10 or 20 feet, 30 or something, and click OK. After that, you can test it again. For example, here, the number plate is recognized. So in here, you can see the difference. 10 seconds later, the door will close, the, the door will be locked.